<clears throat> All right, everyone. It is me, Judson Chan. Oh, it's nice. The new OBS update added a like red circle icon next to the record, so it's a lot easier to see. The name it says live. Oh, wait, that's because I'm not actually live. Oh, they added an icon for that too. It's like kind of nice. So hopefully everyone had a very good weekend. I certainly did. Um, I forgot to actually add the articles I wanted to go over today. Uh, just in case the Yahoo Finance front page does not have it. Uh, also, I haven't... I actually closed out the Bloomberg article about the meat shortages thing. Um, thing is, I'm like kind of like iffy-iffy on it. Um, so... Uh, I don't know, like they're closing down meat plants, including chicken, beef, and pork, but they're also reopening and still operating at a uh, pretty good capacity. But they're just sounding alarm bells just to be safe. Uh, so I'm like, eh. But I mean, we're also reopening the country too, so I'm not really sure how this is all going to pan out. And yeah, the media right now is trying to uh, demonize all the mostly Trump supporters and conservatives, of course, for reopening America. But we all know it's kind of bullshit. So, you know, the real question is um, how many liberals are really going along with it? I actually don't know. I actually don't know. You know, I've been I've been focused more obviously on myself. I took two day, I took the weekend off also from even reading the book, you know, just give myself some rest. Uh, I still have like half of the everything stored book left to go, but I already pretty much figured out what I want to do now. So it's actually pretty cool. Um, uh, so yeah, so basically I'm going to go make my game company. I'll try to make this tower defense game, which basically has its own, like there's a, there's like a, basically a pre-made editor that has everything for me. So, and specific for tower defense, but it does have custom actions too. So hopefully this time around I'll actually be able to, use it and then i was also watching some star wars galaxy of hero videos by uh, arnold t101 he actually mentioned how uh this is actually unrelated but it's actually directly related to what we're doing well what i'm doing maybe we're doing actually and he said that uh star wars galaxy of heroes does not update its graphics specifically because of performance issues for older devices right on these mobile phones when i totally get that right and he said he did an analysis he said only three percent of like in 2019 that's the latest data that we have uh only three percent use like android 4.0 or lower so basically most people use modern day phones um now technically that may not be the case may not matter because you know this thing runs Android 6 or 7, and like it can barely run Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. You know, it's kind of choppy. That's why I play it on my computer, on, a, on an emulator. So, you know, it, it's not, I mean, yeah, usually it's an indicator that also has har old hardware, but I mean, everything's customizable. So, uh, but anyway, I decided, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and just use these editors. It's going to be in 3D, right? But we can make it like top down or 2.5D or whatever. And then all I have to do is just, I just try to keep the. Uh, graphics component part low so i mean uh because designing a pure 2d game apparently is actually more difficult than a 3d game which is just insane to me i always thought it was the reverse but at this point i really just don't care right because you know I'm, I'm because i'm using a pure 2d thing right uh i'm having all sorts of problems with the rotation in the health bar but if we're 3d then i don't have that problem at all so it's like you know what whatever i just want to make a effing game right and then just go from there right you know, I can always improve on it, uh, push it out to every platform. I mean, the benefit is, yeah, I get access to better looking graphics. So, you know, as time goes on, you know, I think it should be okay. Even because, because, uh, because a lot of people in the reviews, actually, I'll show you what it is. Asset Store Unity. Let me see if I can find it. Um, actually, do I still have the thing here? Yeah. Oh, okay, I can just do a direct link to it. Uh, God, this is going to take forever to load. Uh, this one's not too bad. This looks like it should run pretty well on on a mobile phone. Because that's what I'm thinking about. Um, Alright, now if I get, like, much more heavy graphics, then I can, like, you know, do whatever. It says a tech tree. So I'm thinking I can actually, ch um, I can actually put a lot of RPG elements into this, I believe. And this thing obviously runs on timers, because obviously you need a timer to run the 
script how the enemies come out. So I'm kind of wondering if I can actually modify that timer to create like a fictional base that you because I. So basically, I'm taking the action RPG content and putting it into a tower defense instead. So that that way would be a lot simpler. You know, also it's a lot more casual friendly too, and then I can worry about the multiplayer later. And then from here, I can build out. I went on Fiverr. And then I actually found a really good music composer. So for four minutes of music, I can hire him for like 200 bucks or 240. He actually makes pretty good music. Still gonna give him credit for it because I like giving people credit. Uh, and I have full copyrights over it too. That's the that's actually a requirement, right? Because I don't want people because I don't want people say you hear music from my game or my show eventually, right, or movie or whatever, and they use it in something else, and then it's like people get confused. Right? When you hear the Star Wars music, you know it's Star Wars. And it's nowhere else. Right? <laughs> so there's a reason for that. Uh, so I don't want to get into the whole copyright thing for that, but I, I spent a lot of time uh, enjoying that yesterday. Of course, I've been li just listening to more good old distant worlds for Final Fantasy VII. I just didn't realize just how good that music was. So, you know, I'm, I'm feeling very good. I'm, really, I'm feeling very confident about this. Yeah, this looks... Not only does this look actually very decent... Wait, where was that picture they had of the turrets? Alright, this actually looks more or less pretty decent, and it's definitely looking like a pretty low poly ca uh, gun count. So it should run pretty well on most people's uh, phones. It'll definitely run really well on the computer, so that's not a problem. But yeah, ultimately, I'll make my game company, I'll grow from there, and then eventually what I do want to do is become like Congregate and Steam and Epic Game Store, and basically just allow other people to publish their games on my thing for a fee. But the difference is, I'm going to actually create like an in-game optional ad so that, just like free-to-play games on mobile, they always have like, hey, click this ad, and then just watch an ad and you get free in-game stuff. I'm going to do the same thing. I don't understand why I don't do that in PC. Like, Steam is, like, in a prime position to do that, but they don't do that for some reason. And remember, it's optional. So developers can choose to have it or not have it, and then people can choose to click on it or not. It's not going to be annoying. And, you know, there's so much untapped revenue from advertising, from free-to-play, that it's just, it's just insane to me. All right? So I'll just do the same thing. All right? That's how Unity makes it, a lot of its money, too. My Unity ads, so I'm sure they take a slice of it. So uh, yeah, and then I'll eventually move into uh, doing the same thing for movies and shows. I'll lead with my show at that point. I should have like probably tens of millions of dollars easily. And then once I've established myself in the industry, then I do the same thing. I start inviting artists and filmmakers and whatever to you know go to my platform and then you know start peddling their shit there. And then at that point, technically I'd be in competition with Amazon and Vimeo. So, but, you know, really, I just want, you know, my own little media entertainment company. Um, I don't know. And then, at the, and then, of course, one thing I'm not mentioning is commercial real estate. Well, that goes without saying, but that's just what I do for money, right? You know, uh, just in case, A, everything fails, of course, and I got to provide for a family at that point. I assume I might be married or getting married or something. Or at least I'm probably going to be seeing women, right? Hopefully. And then... <clears throat> You know, got, I need some kind of startup capital. This, the money is going to have to come from somewhere, right? You know, I mean, there's, there's only so much that, you know, cryptocurrency can do for me. Right? It'll give me my first seed capital. So what do I do? Okay, secure secure the bag, as Andrew Yang would say, right? Secure, secure the money. So that's where commercial real estate comes in. And it'll be much more helpful to have that when I build my company, because obviously we need office space. So I'll probably just build my own shit. That's why Amazon has their own facilities. Google has their own facilities, Microsoft has their own facilities, et cetera, et cetera. So I'll do the same thing. It's really not that hard as it sounds, right? Just, ha just have money. That's all that it is. Just have money. Find someone who's done architecture before, and then just they do all the work. You just sit on your ass and pay the check. That's it. That's literally all you do. It's it's not rocket science. Uh, so anyway, but yeah, I feel good. I've, uh, I, I now know uh, what to do, and I've got a direction again, so... Ah, very nice, very nice. All right, anyway, there's so much more, but then this video will be like three hours long, so, um, yeah. Anyway, last week is being finalized for 12 for Bitcoin searches. Uh, coin market cap looks correct, so, all right. So, Bitcoin diamond 64.1%, 24 volume is 140.2 uh, billion. Uh, Bitcoin's at 77.19, so, 
looks pretty good. It was pretty stable over the past uh, few days during the weekend, so it wants to keep going up. So uh, things are looking pretty good. The markets, I think, are doing all right. Uh, there's obviously crazy stuff going on, but that's why we have the articles we're looking at today. Oh, get rid of that. Uh, on you know this stuff, you know reopening, blah blah blah. So the, the stuff is changing as we speak. So. We'll see. Uh, Litecoin's at forty to four dollars essentially. Uh, Dogcoin is at two eighty eight point seven million market cap. Hold on, let me make sure my Bit Heroes is running because I actually have a lot of energy and great shards to burn. I might actually quit Bit Heroes because Congre has become so fucking greedy. Um, they're like they're literally just ripping people off now. Like my 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 free to play like the free to play experience is just unusable. It's kind of annoying too because I spent so much money on this game, like seven to eight hundred fifty bucks. All right, I really would have preferred to have spent that on Star Wars: Galaxy of Heroes because at least they actually are not greedy, all right? So, but that's okay. I'm gonna obviously get the money back. I obviously enjoyed my time on Bit Heroes, but I usually would like to play a game basically forever, all right? Because that's how I am in real life, right? I invest forever. I work hard forever. Well, I don't say work hard, even though I technically do. I, uh, I don't know. What is it? Uh, I enjoy life very hard. That, that, that would probably be better. So, yeah. But, oh, well, that's just how it goes. But anyway, uh, that's why I'm going to be way better than congregate. So, uh, and they have a proven, and, you know, considering how, you know, how they're doing, I mean, that, that bodes very well for me, right? So, 288.7 million market cap. Um... Steam is at 21.39 cents. So this thing's actually going up a lot finally because high power of coin also like shot up like crazy too. So we're actually going to take a look at that because like I went to buy some more high that I noticed I was getting a lot less. So I was like, oh, that means the price went up. How much did it go up by? And that was like 144%. Now, well, Jesus Christ. This is rank 37, so it's actually on the front page. Holy shit. This thing like quintupled, right? It just went like insane. Wow, Hive is sixty is sixty eight cents now. Well, my friends, if you've been following me so far, you've been and uh, you know you you made uh, you made some good money, you know. All right, good. That means I'm on my way back to getting my three grand from my original Steam investment. You know, this is why I always invest uh, for the long term, preferably forever, just like Warren Buffett. Right. Of course, Warren Buffett's being a you know typical hypocrite, you know global shit. But you know he's rich for a reason, right? It's not luck. It's not luck. There's no, there is a such thing as luck, but skill and intelligence uh, and correct decision making is usually the vastly superior way to you know actually get sustainable uh, returns and growth, right? Because because what's going to happen when you have kids or you need to teach somebody this stuff, right? You know, you, you can't just tell them, just get lucky. That's, that's, a, that's a dumb, retarded answer, right? You got to teach them something. Well, that's what, that's why I'm doing these videos. So hopefully you made, I mean, I'm not even going to calculate, but yeah, you know, I, I probably got my money back, you know, if I were to sell, which obviously I will not, right? We're just going to hold it forever. Um, you know, because again, we're not selling, well, we're not selling our crypto, at least I'm not, until the bull run peak in a couple of years. You know, but actually because of coronavirus, it may not actually happen until 2023, 2024, right? You know, because the situation's different now. So um, until I can ascertain where it, if it's actually different enough to change the duration of the cryptocurrency bull market from its usual pattern of lasting around 18 months to a couple of years, or maybe it'll just be the same as always, right? I mean, it's a little hard to tell at this point, uh, but overall good news good news now things are completely changing right now so i'm going to refresh this again all right so uh when i hit the when i before i sit, uh, hit the record button it was down a little bit now it's up like 300 points uh stocks rise and investors eye reopening plans so we still have this article up on the front so that's a good sign so we're going to actually read that supreme court rules for insurers over 12 billion Obamacare. I don't really care about that. I mean, everything's corrupt. So yeah, well, what's new about that? Large law firms are concerned about the capital, a cash flow, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so here's the thing, like 
there are obviously some elements of the globalists and Democrats uh, and not really the Republicans that really want to keep everything shut down. But there's just they they have way too much pressure. I wouldn't be surprised if even some of the globalists themselves are like, hey. You know, have you noticed these Nick Fuentes, Groiper, Uprizer types? Everyone's calling this shit the hoax. Everyone's resisting. Everyone's becoming fucking conservative. Can you fucking reopen it? Right? And then even Andrew, uh, Andrew Cuomo's like, yeah, we're going to have to reopen something. Fuck it. Uh, of course, Twitter is being an asshole. All right. So, uh, but we can't be stupid. Uh, be stupid. Wash your hands. Oh, here's his daily thing. Oh yeah, I really like did like this. Uh, I actually uh, put this in my show, and then I'm gonna actually, you know, uh, totally rip this off and put it in a scene. Um, uh, see, the thing is, they had really nice music too, so it could be copyrighted. So uh, I don't want to play it, but basically, some I assume it's a conservative dude from the middle of nowhere, Kansas. He said rural. He has, uh, you know, his wife. He's got like diabetes and some kind of heart problem. I forgot. It's just, and he's obviously afraid for her, especially because of the, you know, they're like around 70 years old. So she's in prime condition to get killed by coronavirus, right? She's like the highest risk. Uh, specifically, her risk is somewhere around 50 to 75% of dying if she contracts it, right? Uh, and, he's, and, he, and he has four N95 masks. He kept four for himself and he sent one to Cuomo. So he said that was actually pretty nice. So uh, yeah, you can actually watch it. It's actually really nice. Uh, and of course, I had someone tell me, "Well, here's Cuomo saying America is not great," and that was from like 2018. And I just simply said, "Well, I hope coronavirus changed this guy's mind. I think it has for the time being, uh, at least enough, because he realizes, you know what? I, as much as I may not like Trump or Republicans, you know, like, you know, I, I can't just." you know, keep acting like the way I was acting. Like, yeah. Plus, it might actually be possible that he might replace Joe Biden with Andrew Cuomo, even though he said he's not going to run. You know? Because I definitely guarantee you, people will rally around Cuomo uh, as opposed to Biden. Uh, so we'll see. Um, but uh, but that's the other thing, too. If Trump leaves office, the media also knows they're going to be out of a job, too. Right? So... Uh, James C. Coin continues to gain strength, 9 to 11. <laughs> 9 to 11, oh boy. Uh, that doesn't bode well. Uh, but yeah, it's 9 to 11. It's doing very well. Uh, 4 4 coin is actually gaining strength right now. It was at 6 to 7 when I hit the record. Now it's at 7 to 8. Very good. So it's going back up. Money is flowing into crypto slowly, so that's good. Markets are reopening. Things are looking positive, so everything's as it should be. As I said before, markets do not deserve to go up until fundamentally we start reopening. And I think from what we can tell, we're seeing this. And yes, Remel is pretty leveraged uh, real estate. So of course it's, you know, it's not going down too much. So that's a good, very good sign. But you know, it's gonna take a little bit of time for real estate to recover, but it should recover pretty quickly once we start reopening shit. I mean, some places, some hardcore Democrat controlled areas are gonna, uh, bunker down and do um continue their shutdown and they're gonna say we saved a lot of lives by doing this shit um okay uh i mean they're just hurting themselves at this point but you know i have to imagine like i really want to know what does a typical liberal actually think who normally would support you know democrats are they getting angry about this because that's what i want to know because obviously we know how us republicans feel we, it's like, this is bullshit. Just fucking reopen it. We don't care if it's partial or whatever. Just reopen something, you know? And uh, they're letting us have our way, right? Because it's pretty obvious that it's, like, way understated, right? New York City already has a 21% plus infection rate for coronavirus, but the death rate was significantly less than normal and was only disproportionately affecting people who didn't take care of themselves or who happened to be very old people. So, I mean, it's not much different from any other shit that, you know, kills, uh, kills them, right? So, yeah, reopen this shit. 64 or 63, oh, that is a massive buy order for 2x2, two by, two, by the way. 63 to 67 for 2x2 uh, two two coin. Very good. Uh, compound coin continues to struggle a little bit. Now it's at 5,100 to 6,200. I suspect it's because they're starting to move compound coin money out into, like, these other cryptos. So, very, very good. I also don't know, I mean, I'm not really famous, so, I mean, I don't know if anything I'm saying even affects these prices. 
Even though, obviously, we're going to be doing swaps and shit. So, I don't know. Maybe that does something. Uh, I don't care. Uh, yeah, I don't really care. 20 days. Uh, we'll drive people into crypto. Okay, so... Hmm, I kind of want to read this. Even though I don't like them, but... Uh, all right, I guess we'll read this idiot. Uh, let's see. So, again, what the hell is going on here? It's like... This is why I can't stand it. You know, even if Trump destroys Biden in all the presidential debates and Biden just can't even, like, make any sense, I bet people will still vote for Biden anyway. I mean, it's, it's, just, it's just so stupid. Uh, hitting all in your hands and pulling I want the money paid directly. They insisted it be paid by states for district. I told this would happen, especially in many states which have... Okay. Yeah. See, I see. Here's the thing. The, I still haven't gotten my Trump bucks yet because the Democrats are specifically fucking us on the money, right? But you know, the fucking idiots, these retards, voting for Biden still. They still think like the Republicans are to blame. No, the Republicans want to give you your fucking money. Even Mitch McCuckle like can't do anything about it. Neither can Lindsey Graham. They don't have any more power. Right? At least when it comes to the Trump bucks, right? It's the Democrats that are fucking you out of your Trump bucks. You can't pay your rent. You can't get your baby formula for your kids or whatever. Yeah, it's the fucking Democrats, right? I'm all, like, I'm just, like, annoyed on principle, right? Even though I don't technically need the money. But I still want the money, right? 1200 bucks is still a lot. That actually will at least fund me for, like, half a month. I can buy, like, a lot of Unity shit, right? You know, and then pay out. Like I like I spend I spent I'm spending more money on groceries too because not only do I have to hoard more meat, um, but the prices are going up, right? Because everyone's just again they're shutting down the plants, so it's like you know I could use the money. Uh, why should the people of Delaware be bailed out poorly on states like Illinois and say all in case Democrat men and most are are not looking for bail help? I am open to discussing anything, but just asking. Yeah. Uh, but blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I mean, New York would still be an exception because they pay out more, but you have, like, states like Oregon that are really just, like, screwing everything up on purpose. So, you know, we're, yeah, so we're just not going to whatever. Uh, it's hilarious, fake president. Yeah, see, again, rather than facts, you know, people hating Trump is more important to them, right? Republicans and conservatives did the exact same return mistake in 2012, right? We hate Obama, Obama, blah, 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 right? And then we got crushed like an ant. Right? It's the same shit. Uh, so round and round the cycle goes. This is what makes... Oh yeah, so we already read that. So he has nothing new. So, alright, let's take a look. Uh, yes, well, I'm not so sure. I believe 12 months with PSR to save AF. It could also be better return. No, that's not true. Um, everything's going to go up. Uh, uh, as an alternative, Uncorrel has to act as a hedge against the global economy. That's actually not true. We've already proven that cryptocurrency is no longer a hedge, but a correlation with the global economy. Because now it's officially a commodity like everything else. So that's why it will no longer be a hedge, right? You know, um, because you would think, oh, why isn't gold and silver going up? Because it's not a hedge anymore, right? Because we know that it's bullshit. All right? That's why I tell people, don't buy gold and silver. At some point, I'm going to remove the gold and whatever thing on my website, right? You know, from Regal Assets, because I just don't like gold and silver, you know. But, you know, maybe I'll just re maybe I'll replace it with Bitcoin, IRA, and then gold and silver, because Regal Assets is smart enough to, you know, stay with the future, which is why I like them so much, All right? So, uh, but, you know, if people are stupid enough to buy gold and silver, give me the money. Don't give it to Ben Shapiro, you know? He'll lie to you and tell you what you want to hear. I don't do that. Right? I tell you the truth, right? Because you're not going to bullshit God and Jesus Christ when you meet them at the end of your, you know, lifespan. So I'm not going to do the same thing either, you know. So if you don't like it, well, I mean, you're going to you're going to have a hard you're going to have a hard time. That's all I'm going to say, right? <clears throat> you know, because people don't even want to confront me anymore. They just want to like unfollow or block me, right? They like they're like cowards. And I just think that's sad. <clears throat> You know, I just think that's sad. That's what happens when your life is run by fear. Whether fear of money, fear of God, fear of whatever. Like, f fear is the emotion of the devil. It's, it, it's not of God. Because uh, God figured it out a long time ago. Fear does not work. So, you know. But you know what? Everything will be fine when I have my show out. So, whatever. I can see Bitcoin rising as high as blah, 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 blah. All right. So, so to my surprise, Tony Vase has more or less been 
pretty uh, rational here, which is pretty uncharacteristic of him. Maybe that ban on YouTube finally made him stop being like such an F word. So, all right, good enough for me, but we'll see. Trump delivered coronavirus, getting Fed and Congress to act decisively. So this is from Market Watch. Uh, here's the story that continues. Uh, I really don't want to. All right, I'm not going to read the whole thing. So it's just, it's just a nice little headline. Hmm. That Yahoo ran. Oh, excuse me. Uh, here, here it is. So here's someone blaming Trump. No stimulus check. Well, they're going to take advantage, they always do. Pedro is a Trumper, uh, not everyone act decisively. So basically, you have a lot of angry liberals here. Okay. So it's funny that people are blaming Trump, but not the fucking Democrats for shutting everything down and screwing up their portfolio. Like, I mean, it's just it's just so annoying. Um, and you can see that there are a lot of liberals upvoting this shit. Uh, unfortunately, it's probably pretty accurate, because that's why, you know, Trump's in a dead heat. You know, it's just ridiculous. People would rather vote for a brain dead guy than for Trump. Uh, stock market news live update: stocks rise as investors eye reopening plans. Um, okay, so let's see. Stocks advance Monday. Do, 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 do. Okay, state plan to slowly roll back social distancing measures. U.S. crude oil prices would be shortly after market reopen. Uh, the Nasdaq composite rose a lot. Okay. So everything's going back to normal, so that's good. In the past week, a handful of states, primarily in the south, of course, and now some businesses and public spaces will begin to reopen restrictions. Yes, that would be the prudent move. Just reopen something and then still have some restrictions in place, which really won't be that much. And then once people realize, hey, this isn't so bad, hey, you know, because here's the thing I'm wondering, are we going to, every winter, are we going to repeat these shutdowns, right? That's really going to piss a lot of people off. But then it's also going to like really embolden uh, the liberal idiots that still think Joe Biden is better than Donald Trump. So that, I mean, there's it's going to be um, it's not seemingly polarizing now, but it definitely could very well be polarizing later. Um, actually, I don't even want to like say that because I don't want to fear monger. So I'm like, I don't know. It's like this is just going to be a little messy. But on the other hand. Yeah, a lot of people are still, are going to definitely become a lot angry at the Democrats, too. So I don't know how this will, you know, uh, pan out. Kicking off a multi-phase process of easy social distancing. Citizens were met with criticism for some business owner epidemiology who felt the real place coming as domestic death toll or were premature, uh, specifically Democrats. <clears throat> still, recent data suggested that right, we're living, even in the uh, Andrew Cuomo Senate press reading. Uh, the death toll has now dropped to 367. Uh, as long as we act prudently going forward, the war should be over. He suggested if a phase reopening could begin with construction and manufacturing industry as soon as May 15th in areas of the state with less concentrated number of cases. Okay, so New York will do partial reopenings on May 15th. I expect New York City should be reopening partially probably June 1st. Um, they already canceled the gay pride marches for June in New York City. Uh, so, I mean, obviously they could change that. So I'm going to assume, yeah, so probably, yeah, so at least June 1st, that's probably so one month from now. It's still going to be kind of nuts, but the remarks were a testament to the distance. The state epicenter has come to flatten and curve, hospital, okay. Still the experts remain to concern about the specter of resurgent cases, social distancing. Yeah, so people are calling Deb, I actually happen to like Deborah Burks, but they call her a scarf lady in a very negative manner. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm, yeah, but people are starting to get very mad at him. So, and yeah, I mean, at this point, it's like, oh, well, let me see, what did she say? The latest drops in your new cases give her a great hope for reopening. She believes the U.S. would also need a breakthrough in coronavirus testing to get a better sense of the extent of the outbreak and blah, 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 blah. Well, we already have great testing. We just need a little more time, right? But we can't just, you know, shut everything down more, right? Because... People are because only Bloomberg's been covering the food shortages and meat, right? So, like, how far do you want to go with this? Now you're gonna make everyone starve. It's like, okay, now, now people are getting mad. This week, market participants will actually, and on top of it, this is red, red steak, meat, filet, filet mignon for us nationalists and conservatives. Or conservatives out and about, constantly fucking protesting and shit, all right? 
you know, and and the left's response is just call them retards and evil people. Like that's that's not going to work, right? If anything, it's just going to polarize people people even more. And again, I don't know what the liberal response is because I don't know. It looks pretty muted, right? The only thing I, the only things I see from liberals is Donald Trump bad. You know, I don't actually see these same liberals really attacking um, conservatives that much. Uh, the protesters specifically, because. The liberals too want to be out and about. All right. This week, market payroll will be actually looking ahead for cyber patterns. Pretty low, very okay. So investors will receive the first print of uh, first quarter U.S. GDP and hear the Federal Reserve for its later monetary policy. Well, the Federal Reserve is not going to do anything. Like they have to keep shit low. So Alphabet, Google, are among the main slate to report corporate earning results this week. Well, they'll probably do pretty well, except anything except Boeing, of course, Tesla, probably. But these other tech companies, because everything's online, yeah, they'll be making a lot of money, so whatever. Oh, is Amazon listed here? Yeah, Amazon. So Amazon's going to be making a lot. That's why their stock's been skyrocketing. And then there's just extra shit. I want to see what is. See. Free kids out of stock are basically where money changers bet on whether Kamai's going to arrive or fall. Betting actually affects the results. Okay, so whatever. You're just stupid. Yeah, we all know that. It doesn't matter. So, first of all, even this is true. So what? Like, what happens when you bet on the future? You think everything is going to go down. You short, and then you get crushed by short squeeze. That's what a short squeeze is, right? Because everything goes up. Oh, gee. You know, that blows that out of the water. Come on. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I tell you, we will control the horde. We're the center back of the world. We create infinite. Oh, yeah, so this guy's just making a joke. Oh, yeah, I got to sign in. Right. I would upvote that. Future's lower. Hmm, never been funded a billion cat. One day, it's gone. <laughs> Future lower as state reopening. How is that bad? Stocks high and right over the stocks down when people ready to go back to work. I'm speechless. Yeah. So, Yahoo Finance has a lot of good articles, uh, usually. Um, of course, the commenters, as always, as I remember, even 5, 10, 15 years ago, full of retards. So, uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, we'll just probably make this the uh, front page. So, if you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from. Or on my YouTubes at youtube.com forward slash JMC Radio. Make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right hand side of this page so we can continue growing this channel. Uh, what should I call it? So I'm done for the day, obviously. I've got some work to do. I might want to play a little more Tarkov before I uh, play, um, I not play, before I read more of my book. I don't know, I have to decide. Because I do want to finish my book, and then once I square that away, and then I figure out, okay, I think I know what I want to do you know, with the next phase of my life, then I can go and work on my tower defense game. And hopefully, that asset store thing will be a lot better and I won't run into so many problems because, you know, I, not only do I need something that works and it's simple and easy to understand and use, but I still need to be able to add my custom actions on it. So, you know, uh, we'll see if uh, that'll fit the bill. Well, so, anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you on tomorrow's video. Uh, remember, nothing remains changed. Uh, maybe you want to buy Steam and Hive Power if you haven't already. I mean, you should have at this point. Uh, because you would be up like, I don't know, 500% or whatever. I mean, I'll put it in the description, but I'd be at this point, like I said, you know, once you know this shit, once you've seen it all, you know, money just, it's, it's like the it's like the Federal Reserve. You just go, uh, actually on my Twitter profile, I actually had the official theme song of the Federal Reserve. I'm not going to play because we get copyrighted material. Um... This black guy got banned on TikTok because he just mentioned the word Nick Fuentes. So, you know, all that stuff about, hey, we're not racist. They're fucking full of shit. Right? Like this coronavirus thing also proved that too. I saw a lot of people bashing China and Chinese people, right? They specifically just didn't say Chinese people, but they said China. But it's pretty obvious, right? They were just so fucking, yeah, here it is. Money printer go burr original. Uh, I, I just love, I'm actually going to play this again. Uh, on my Chrome afterwards. <laughs> also, the also the uh, the animation for it is very simple, but it's just hilarious. Actually, you know. Let me see. I need to mute this though. Oh, it is muted. Good. All right. Money printer go. Brrr. Yeah, but 
you know, it's like these are the same people that said, hey, if you're obsessed about X, the country that cannot be named in the Middle East, you don't criticize other countries, then maybe the problem isn't that country, but maybe yourself, right? Well, gee, that, apply that same logic, yeah. It's all just lies. So it's like that's, that's why I'm just going to get so annoyed. But that's actually why I'm going to move to Florida. I think one of the things I might actually consider very much doing is going to let all the politicians, I mean, once they get big and rich, that is, and like they can't actually ignore it because they want my money, right? I'm going to start just saying, if you don't give me these things, say free speech and, you know, extra this and, you know, maybe maybe uh, encouraging more filmmaking or whatever, you know, I'm going to start funding your opponent who will give me this shit. So, you know, and Republicans and Democrats also tend to be more moderate because they have to because it's Florida. So I figure maybe I probably want to maintain that. Uh, but we're going to have to see. Because that way, you know, if, say, let's say the Democrats in Florida, my, let's say Tampa, right, because that's where I want to move. Like, they want to do a full shutdown, and I see this shit, I'm like, hey, you're not doing a shutdown. Like, it's pretty obvious that it's all bullshit. You know, we got the testing, too. So, like, what's the problem? It's like, eh, it's like, you know, they're going to start getting nervous. And, you know, I don't like that, but that's what I have to do, because I don't want... I don't want this shit to, like, fucking shut everything down, right? That's what they're doing in Oregon, and everyone in Oregon is going to suffer. You know, but, of course, they get what they deserve because, you know, they voted Democrat. So, of course, they're going to screw everything up. Now they want a free bailout for fucking everybody over uh, up the ass. So, uh, not going to happen. But, yeah, this is a really funny song. And it's a very simple song, too. But <laughs> Anyway, yeah. I'll see you all tomorrow's video. Uh, you can buy Steam and Hive uh, if you want. Uh, I'm actually surprised Steam went up, but that's fine. Steam goes up, Hive goes up. It's all money to me, man. I mean, at this point, I just, you know, uh, got my money. Actually, not only got my $3,000 back, unrealized profit, because I, I invested $3,000 into Steam originally, and that's it. I'm probably up to like 4,500 or 6,000 on it now. So yeah, been a long time coming, but hey, like I said, Money go, money comes, money goes, but in my case, money comes and it just grows. <laughs> and that's how I like it. See you all tomorrow. Thanks. Johnson Chan, JMC Coin, 404 Coin, and oh, by the way, you can't buy Steam on Block Trades. I haven't checked this a few days ago because they have a problem with the soft fork. So you have, you'll have to buy these Hive Power. Uh, if you have access to Bittrex.com and you don't live in New York like I do, uh, then you can also buy it from there. But they do require KYC, so... Uh, but, eh, you know, if not, you know, that's just how it goes. Yeah. Judson Chad, JFC Koi, 404 Koi. I think I already said that already. And here's our thumbnail.